I'm Tim Stecco. Uh, I volunteer at the Pool Milheim Pool in Soldiers and Sailors Park. And I'm here to tell you about what we think is a, a real gem of a resource in the valley. I got involved with the pool when my daughter got involved with swimming. She was about eight when she got started. She swam for about four years. And when I was there, I just saw that the, the park had needs. And being a very type A, antsy person that can't sit around, I just started asking, what can I do? Can I clean this up? Can I do that? And that just sort of blossomed into some bigger and greater, more great involvement, helping with the Milheim Try, uh, working with the Lions Club who manage uh, the property outside the fence that we call the pool, part of the park. Go. My daughter no longer swims, but I have a healthy team of volunteers, uh, parents who do have children on the swim team. Some of them are also just citizens that live in Milheim. There's days when I might have 15 to 20 people helping with getting the pool repaired and up and running. And this is all volunteer. The triathlon, we must be in our sixth or seventh year of the triathlon. It brings in $10,000, $12,000, maybe a little more, I mean, weather dependent. All the proceeds that we now get during the triathlon, all of it goes right back into the pool. It's all volunteer labor helping out, so every dime that gets spent for the registration fees and contributions and sponsors, uh, that all goes into managing and maintaining our pool. The athletes come from more than just Milheim from more than just Center County. They come from out of states. They really like this triathlon. Some of the best compliments we had about it was they said it was one of the more energetic, nicely run small triathlons. But I think it's that small size that kind of captures the Penns Valley feel that we have. It's a small community, but we're an energetic little community. <laughs> Numerous athletes mention how they think we have one of the nicest cycling courses in triathlons that they've ever been to. I've lived in the Valley since uh, 1990, and it's to the point now where you, know, you gotta really take time to count the years. The sense of community, you can feel it if you come out to the park. It's meeting your fellow community members. The first time I signed up for the Sand Volleyball League, I've seen the faces around town, but I didn't know their names. So then you finally get to meet them, and they bring their children out to the park while they're playing sand volleyball. Everybody's running around. Your children are not now mingling with each other. In fact, my daughter met her best friend out at the park. And if it wasn't for the park, that would have been a best friend never met, never made, and wouldn't, we wouldn't have it to this day. So it's a, it's a place where you can make friendships that can last a lifetime.